put uh, give major praise to Aubrey for all the energy she's bringing in the Givebacks V2 and QAC and hosting tour spaces and just all over the ecosystem. Uh, she had a great tweet today, and it's just like you're, the impact is is real. So major praise to Aubrey. And I'll pass it over to Lauren. Thanks. You give good praises and I want to praise some of the same people. At least I want to praise Jake. Jake is like my hero. You know, Jake is such a wonderful person who you can like lean on. He's going to follow up with partners like he's in all these chats and half the time I just ignore them. And then Jake like makes sure that the relationship's OK. And he tags me and he's like, Lauren's the right person to talk. They text me like three times and he pings me and he's just like a hero of a cat herder and a relationship manager. And I love it. I also want to praise Ben, who's been doing an amazing job with QAC and then also offering some of his support into into QF and then joining me on like some nitty gritty discussions of like, you know, what do we call these things and how do we make QAC work with GURVs? And I just like really appreciate him also just like reaching in and grabbing me and making sure that I'm in the loop on things so that we can be building QAC really as a stepping stone to GURVs. And um, yeah, and and also, I I, damn it, I want to praise Aubrey too. You guys, Jake, Aubrey, just killing it. You know, I want to praise Aubrey for jumping in to give Max V2. We had an amazing call yesterday and she's just like on top of it. She's like, yeah. And I can set all these things up and it's just like great. Like she has, she's bringing incredible energy and driving so many different things forward in the galaxy and so major praise there. And I will pass it to Lumina and Vision. Hello, hello, GM, GM. Well, uh, actually, I was going to also praise Bobby. You stole it from me. I have met this wonderful person during uh, Let's Grow Life, and I find her uh, like really the best representative of General Magical. And she explained us all about the projects and where to work and uh, what to do and uh, what is pairwise and what is developed. And it's just uh, she also has this incredible energy. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I love Bobby. Thank you. I didn't pass it to anybody, sorry. Uh, let's give it to Kiran. Thanks. Um, so I want to praise Ashley for all of the nomination help with uh, getting the D form ready for this round and just onboarding in general and helping with projects for QF rounds. It's like always really nice to have you helping out there. Um, and then also just Almond as well. Totally killing it on comms and uh, just, you know, always like one step ahead of the game and helping me organize Twitter spaces. And it's just, uh, yeah, really great. And are we doing two or three? Three, if you got it. Three? Okay. In that case, I also want to praise Lauren. Um, she's been a great resource helping me out with some just more organization things, trying to get some of the learnings from our Give Earth uh, Retro implemented. And yeah, I really appreciate that and just all the general help with getting to run the QF program. So thank you very much. And I'll pass it over to Ashley. Ooh, so I just shilled Forgiveth on a Metapool X space and 
I'm a noob when it comes to shilling for Giveth. So it kind of got me those noob feelings. And so I want to kind of take a moment to shill again to some of the noobs at Giveth that I've been working with. One would be Ben. He's been doing a great job. He really jumped in. He's really going to help out the fundraising team, go after some QF sponsors. So thanks, Ben, for really jumping into the fire of, of QF and, and fundraising. Secondly, would be uh, kind of noob would be Paulo, but he got his first kind of grant out. So that's noob action. Uh, he did a great job with that. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't go through, but hey, you fall, you get back up. And I, I know uh, Paulo will. And then lastly would be Mariam. Mariam's working with Monique and she's new to working with me and they're going to get a really killer, kick-ass, stellar staging uh, going for us, which hopefully will lead to some bigger and better things and maybe a stellar QF round. So those are my noobs of the week. I'm going to go ahead and pass it on to Mo Shahab. Mo, Musha, how are you there? Wait, let's turn off cameras. Everyone's got to turn off their cameras. Yeah, Laboso, if you can turn off your camera, uh, that would help us so more people can come in. Uh, but Musha, how are you there? Can you can you unmute? Do you want to do some praise? If not, then I'll pass it over to Craddy. Oh no, can you guys hear me? Oh yeah, uh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I would like to praise the whole team of uh, uh, Devouch and QAC, Mitch, Amin, Cherik, uh, uh, Matteo, and I also want to praise fundraising team, Jake, Marcelo, Griff, Lauren, and I'll pass it on to... Amin, have you gone? Amin, are you there? Join right now. Oh, nice. Um, do you have any praise to dish? Yeah, I want to praise uh, Ben for uh, for continuously managing the QActive uh, QAct project and also praise Ali for his amazing work as a newcomer on the QAct backend and also want to praise Chorik and Lowell for uh, fast progress in QAct frontend. Also, I will I want to praise Krati for her uh, meticulous management of the progress of the uh, technical side. Yeah, that's it. I should pass to another one, right? I pass it on to um, Latifa. Did you go? Mm, thank you. So I'll I'll be pass my praise to um, Mitch, of course, and Mary Jaff with Muhammad. These people have been working with them closely, so I they have been providing constant support for me, which has been making my work go smoothly. So all my praises to them and the Dev team. Thank you. So I'll just pass it on to Lumina and Vision. Uh, Lumina already went, so mm -hmm. let's throw it over to Mitch. Okay. I'll pass it on to Mitch then. Thanks. Uh, cool. Well, I'd like to praise um, Cherik and Mateo, Tossin, and Mo for uh, really working very quickly on all of the stuff we need for um, Devouch, the things we need for integrating Devouch into Giveth. Um, really great design work. The back end's moving along. Um, so we're making really great progress on that. Uh, additionally, I'd like to praise um, Ashley and Griff. Uh, you guys have been giving me a lot of good, um, just like insights, and especially Ashley, like mm -hmm. lots of things that I didn't think about in regards to um, decentralizing verification. And so I think having her perspective on project verification and informing how we build that process um, has been very helpful to me. 
And I get one more. Oof, who's going to get it? Um, I'd like to praise the fundraising team, Jake and Marcelo, for pumping out lots of grants, uh, especially that last one. I don't know if I can talk about it, but uh, putting everything together, asking for a review. And every time I feel like we don't have to leave as many comments because they're really picking up on like, okay, like drilling down how the process works and what are the requirements, how the system works. And so praise to them for pumping those out. And I will pass it on to, ooh, tough one. Let me pass it to Mo. Hey everyone. So, um, um, I, it's it's a long time that I um, um, didn't join from the very beginning and, and didn't praise. Sorry, guys. Uh, so basically, I I I want to praise um, Mitch uh, for um, uh, working uh, for helping and and and, and come uh, and basically working on the the devouch and uh devouch integration i mean uh i want to also praise ben uh for doing um really good on managing and 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 making sure that uh nobody's blocked on on the qac and uh the third uh, one um I, I don't think tam is here but basically i want to praise tam uh who um who help a lot with uh reviewing the the, the QAC design um so and um basically i don't know who to pass if can you help me sure let's throw it to aubrey did you go i have not and i was dreading this but i'm just kidding um hi everybody i'm still getting to know and meet everybody um so it's it's been great um and i'm still just feeling like a newbie but i do Want to praise a couple people? Um, I just saw him in here. Is it Passlor? Um, I saw Passlor in here. Um, I see him everywhere, and I, in like all my comms, I see him in the background for praise, just doing so much work. Um, and we're all giving praise because of him. And so I just see him working very, very hard on that team. So I just wanted to praise him for his praise and for making it possible for everybody. Um, praising Lauren and Griff for just constantly making sure I'm brought into the loop and just. You know, making sure they're thinking if there's like a meeting I should be in or things that I should know about. Um, just giving me a, a chance to like just kind of be the best that I can and feel the most comfortable. Oh, Passlar, you are in here. I see you now too. Praise you, Passlar, and praise you guys, Lauren and Griff. And then last but not least, uh, praise Latifat, um, who shared her um, gifts with the whole team, like the GM team uh, during the meeting this week too. So it was kind of cool to get to know her. Um, on a little bit better fun GIF level. And I will pass to Ko. Or I will also pass to Katabi. Or. <laughs> no, it's okay. It. You know, I think I think it's okay because actually we're out of time anyway for praise. Um, I, the the praise praise is our favorite way to start the show, and it's it's really not just a great like vibe check, you know, and making sure everyone feels appreciated, but it also turns into give tokens when you write it down in the Discord, which is pretty cool. So. Oh no, even, even so like if you didn't get a chance to praise during this intro, type it out. Go into the Discord channel. Any Discord channel works, but we also have a specific praise channel. Backslash praise and type it out. Put it on put it make it real. It's not real unless it hits a Discord. So uh all the praise that you that you uh write, it's not um you know, it doesn't turn into give tokens, but the praise that you write will actually give give tokens. It's our favorite way to distribute give to our community. So uh, definitely type it out and share the love. Uh, welcome to our monthly town hall. We have some big announcements. Uh, yeah. Someone jumping in. Um, I don't know who is talking, but uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, we have some some cool stuff. I, I, we just uh, Aubrey just mentioned the praise action and there's some really cool action from Danny here in praise. Uh, we have a bounty 50 OP 
which is like almost $100. Uh, maybe it'll be $100 if this bull market starts raging. Uh, you can, if you create praise content, and we all know you love praise, if you create some praise content for, for Warpcast, you will win 50 OP. Deadline is in four days, so get out there and grab some OP. Also, probably the biggest uh, thing to remember is like, uh, and uh, the give us main source of funding is Retro PGF. And we have uh, two cool products coming in. So Divouch is going to be very active for round five. Round five applications open up tonight or maybe tomorrow. And uh, worst case, Monday. And Divouch will be a way that you can vouch for them. And then, but the big one is round six governance, a little bit of alpha. I hear the, on the rumor mill that the details for the round will come out in about two weeks. So sometime in the next month. So watch out for that. And, um, you know, let's see how, how well we can integrate uh, in, and show how much we want to participate in retro and optimism governance. And other announcement uh, is that QAC. QAC is huge. Applications are open. So if you know any teams that like have some funding already and would be, have an idea for a token, uh, definitely have them launch, uh, have them apply. And uh, it's great to be getting all the support from Polygon. There's a lot of action there. So anytime you see anything related to QAC, don't be shy. Go out there, retweet. Uh, other DAO service announcements, honestly, I think a lot of these... Oh, they did get updated. That's great. So uh, Ashley is out September 9th to 18th. Frischel is going to be out at the end of the month. Uh, Monique is halftime the next two weeks. That's good. That's fun. Nico's taking some time at the end of the month. Ramin's got a nice two-week vacation. Uh, enjoy, Ramin. Uh, Heather's, uh, Heather just took a few days, is off right now. And uh, Tossin as well, and Nicola as well. So, um, you know, leave these people alone. Let them enjoy their vacation. Anything we need to do, I'm sure, can uh, can wait until they're back. So, also, uh, contributor reviews. So, if you ever see anyone, like, doing great work, or if you see something that they could do, use a little bit of improvement on, don't be shy. Fill out these contributor review forms. It's... It's our way of doing like a 360 review, anyone, anytime. If they're a leader, fill out the leadership uh, review form. If they're uh, not, not necessarily a leader, just executing on all the epic stuff we're trying to do, uh, you know, fill out the contributor review form. And, of course, if there's any conflicts with people, it's not really for these review forms. We have another request form for that. If you see conflicts between two people, some awkwardness in there, uh, 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 you know, uh, filling out a form in time will will help us repair the uh, relational fabric of the community. So don't be shy on filling out gravity support requests if you see something awkward happening. And with that, uh, definitely talk. Let's pass it over to Mitch so he can talk to App. Oh, it's my turn already. OK, uh, so. DAP. Uh, we got some stuff to talk about regarding the DAP. Um, some big things happened. We had a give talk with Willie that you can listen to on Spotify. Uh, if you are on Spotify, highly recommend this give talk um, podcast channel. Give it a five stars if you're looking at it on your phone. Uh, really good chat with Willie. Willie's like one of our like OG brain spawn of like giveth as it is today and he actually started it as a hackathon project and you know griff met up with them they teamed up and then you know boom now we're all here so really cool chat check it out um also related to willie is uh he started a project called noun space which i don't know if you guys remember myspace but this is like nouns combined with myspace like super cool really customizable and so um, Almond spent some time setting up the Giveth noun space. And uh, if you guys want to check it out, it's there. We're going to be, they're going to be doing some pretty cool upgrades to noun space. So this page actually might be coming with some cooler stuff as soon as uh, Willie and his team, uh, you know, makes those upgrades to noun space. So there it is. Check it out. Uh, on that note, um, you know, if you're on Farcast or anything like that, consider following uh, our channel or follow the Giveth user 
on Farcaster as well. That would be super nice, and we would love it if you could follow us. Yeah, you can even you got to get rid of that, but you can actually make a donation right from this like embedded frame, which is pretty cool. You can sign in, you can make a donation, you can boost with Give Power, you can do all sorts of that stuff there. So pretty cool. Griff's doing a live demo right now. Whoa. Anyway, uh, cool. Uh, we got this recurring donation rally. It is happening for just a few more days. It'll be ending on the 26th. So if you guys want to get in there and make some recurring donations to 26 special projects on the Give It app that are eligible, honestly, there's a, if you come in now, there's a good chance that you're going to win something um, because there hasn't been a lot of competition yet. So, I mean, if you want to swoop in there, earn some a giver NFT, earn some nice tokens to buy swag, and also win a boatload of give tokens, I mean, you can come in now and, and clean up pretty easily. So I'd highly encourage reading this blog post, finding the eligible projects, and testing out the new recurring donations feature. So that is open again until Monday. So make sure you get in there. Um, last thing on my list of special things for you is the endowment integration. We done it. We have imported 3,613 projects from endowment and you can start donating to them through Giveth and earn give tokens. So pretty cool collab with them. Uh, Griff and the CEO of Endowment, Robbie, announced it. Mm, dang, when that, that was last week. That was like last week, Wednesday, I think we, we announced it at their on-chain giving summit. So yeah, go in there, make some donations. Um, we're really, really excited about doing further collabs with Endowment. So I'm really happy that went forward. Uh, we got some meetings. Uh, we have a developer daily standup. That happens at various times <laughs> throughout the week. Mondays, it's 8.15. Tuesdays, 7.30. Uh, and then I think, uh, no, Tuesdays at 8. And then Wednesday, Thursday at 7.30 uh, Mexico time. Uh, we also have a comms call that happens Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Uh, Mexico time as well. So what happened? Next slide. What went well in the last month? Well, the endowment integration is done. Uh, that's what I just mentioned there. Uh, we have started to make sure that we support Coinbase and Trust Wallet, uh, two also very popular wallets, uh, especially on mobile uh, for the app. So I think uh, Ketchy is working super hard on that and Latifat and Mary Jaff are all doing the, the crazy testing that needs to be done for that. We're also making great progress. Uh, Raphael's working on uh, a feature to require users to verify their email when they're adding it to their profile. We found out that since we don't require it, like maybe half of the emails that we have in our CRM are invalid. They're not real or they're like not the actual sender. So we're going to add that in there to make sure that we don't get bogus emails on profiles. Just kind of waste everyone's time. So that's coming forward, should be done before the next town hall. Um, decentralized verification, this is a big one. So uh, I'm going to be putting up a forum post later today um, around this whole thing around verification levels and verification points and how we can get more people from our community participating in the project verification process. So that is all spec'd out. And work is starting on like a really quick version. And then there's going to be like a big full feature version coming up after that. Um, so stay tuned for that forum post that's going to have all the deets in there. Um, related to Devouch, been working with Liam, Aubrey, and Stee on the marketing plan for Devouch. And that's going forward uh, really well, as far as I can tell. And Stellar Integration. Quality assurance is moving along. Uh, so I think hopefully we'll see a release. I don't want to jinx it, Monique, but uh, maybe before the next town hall, we'll have Stellar on the DAP. So you can make donations to projects using Stellar. Mm, season four stats. Uh, from July 5th until present, we've had $72,000 worth of donations on the app. Donations to verified projects have been slightly lower. 
uh, of that 72,000, about 64,000 have been made to verified projects. And as you could see, the recurring donation value since the beginning of season five is only a couple hundred bucks. So this is what I'm saying. If you guys want to clean up in this rally, I mean, right there, very easily. Um, newly verified projects. Ashley is just slaying it. Well, Ashley and Nicola, I mean, 47 newly verified projects since July 5th. Um, that's pretty cool. So lots of new projects coming on to Giveth. Uh, high quality ones as well. So good to see. Um, what could have gone better? Uh, we have lots of competing deadlines uh, between QAC, between Polygon ZKVM, between Devouch, between technical debt. So, uh, you know, a handful of Rockstar devs are stretched out between projects that are all very important. So, and what could have gone better, Stellar integration is very tricky and has a lot of complex bugs. So it's a little bit behind schedule, but I think Monix got a handle on it. Um, what is coming up next? The dappening continues. Uh, we're prepping Devouch for Retrofunding 5, uh, making sure that the group of badge holders are able to engage with Devouch in meaningful ways uh, for this upcoming round. Um, we're also going to have a first version of decentralized verification, that is the integration of Devouch into Giveth for project verification before the next town hall. Don't make me eat my words, I promise. I hope it'll happen. Stellar integration, just mentioned that. Hopefully we'll see it before the next. That's it oh, for wow. me. I'll pass it it's on to Lauren. Me. Give Economy Working Group time updates. Did you know? I already mentioned this last week, but now we've actually officially announced it. We've built a Connects bridge where now you can bridge your give from Gnosis to Optimism. And it's actually super cool because do you remember when we extended the Give Power Awards and we put way more rewards on Optimism than we did on Gnosis? And then the APRs on Optimism were way higher on Gnosis. Now they're about the same. So, you know, some people were like, but I have all my give unlocked on Gnosis. But enough has moved over to Optimism that they've actually figured their stuff out, balanced out. And so, now, but now we have this like also great bridge, this Gnosis to Optimism or Optimism Gnosis bridge, where you can bridge, give, and have it sent over just like in a few minutes, just kind of like between those two, those two you know, non-primary networks. I think it's great. Also, we've got two votes live in Snapshot related to the give economy right now. This one, which is about implementing a minimum donation amount required for the donation to be eligible for givebacks. So it's basically a ranked choice vote. So you can kind of like, it's like, should the minimum be $1, $5, $10, $20, $50, $50 or no minimum? You can rank them and then your vote will just kind of like contribute to here. Please get in there and vote because um, it would just be great to see like a little bit more um, community consensus around the votes. Um, yeah. And there's like a bunch of preamble in there and there's a link to the forum as well from there in like the discussion thing. If you wanted to read more about it or make comments. Um, the other vote that we have live in Snapshot is related to implementing basically a claim back window for inactive give allocations. What's happened is that we've distributed give to some addresses that have never claimed their give now for like nine months or like more. And like the last time they ever got give was like nine months ago. It's this, it's this whole thing. So basically this vote is to just kind of like create a parameter where that if, um, you know, you don't interact with the token distro, uh, ever. And nine months ago was the last time you got new give, then uh, give can repurpose that give and send it out for other rewards and use it for other purposes. So that's what this vote's about. Two spicy votes in the uh, snapshot right now. 
Hey, by the way, did you know the way that you get give to give power, the way that you get voting power is actually by staking your give for give power. And so we actually have this really cool thing that um, your give power, you can get a multiplier on the amount of give that you stake to get more give power than than is proportional to your staked give. Um, so you can do that in the give farm. And that's the way that you set yourself up to be able to have governance power for future votes. Of course, like once a snapshot vote is posted, it takes like a snapshot of what is the state of people's voting power at that moment. So if you don't have give power and you're interested in voting on other spicy votes coming soon, and there will be other spicy votes coming soon, Stake your give in the give farm, either on Gnosis Chain or Optimism, um, and uh, you can lock it up and, um, yeah, and amplify your give, your give governance power, give power. Um, cool. Yeah, I also put this other thing here. Mitch kind of mentioned it. It's There's a forum post up about loosening the requirements to become give backs eligible. This kind of goes hand in hand with like the changing the de decentralized verification system, making verification decentralized, you know, the, the devout stuff that we're, we're working on. Um, so this is an interesting forum post that's up here. And I think there, there's going to be like some snapshot, shot, sna snapshot votes coming out soon that are related to this and the evolution of the verification system. So if you want to get ahead of the game and be like on top of it so that you can start exercising your governance ahead of time, now's the time. And you can check out this forum post as well. Um, yeah. Cool. How did we do this month? Fun fact, even though the market was tanking, Give actually did better than ETH. I think this is pretty cool because we had a few months there where I was like, oh, you know, Give didn't really quite do as bad as good as ETH. But like the market has been taking a tank and Give has not been taking as much of a tank. So that's actually really good because like you can we can only kind of like measure ourselves to, to, to ETH and volatile currencies, if you ask me. So you got this cool chart here and you can see like the darker blue line is like the give versus ETH price. So even like lately, like give is performing better than ETH. You have that like upward slanting there. Oh. Okay, great. So cool. What happened in August? We've been working a lot with Myosin, um, which is the marketing agency we hired to support with Give Token, uh, Give Economy, narrative stuff. They put together a bunch of like big ideas and like big big idea kind of campaigns um, that we're looking at. And we, we picked the first campaign that we're going to be rolling out for the Give Token. We're going to be having a Give Essentials about it. And you're going to be seeing some stuff about this, which is really called Ahead of the Curve. And the point is basically like you want to get ahead of the curve um, by getting Give Tokens now. Now. Like soon we're going to be rolling out QAC and then after that we're going to be rolling out GURVS. And so now is really the best time to get your give and, um, and just kind of like be invested in the economy as it's as it's taking off. So this is their they're like very poetic zigzag thing but you'll see more of that in our comms coming soon um uh also that happened in august is the arbitrage bot between gnosis and optimism is working it's up and running and that's part of the reason we we're able to announce the connects bridge um we've also got uh we've also did a bunch of improvements to like how give appears on various dexes now like even on odos if you just search for give it shows up we've got the logo on there and um everything's just looking like real good and nice um yeah I mean, I guess you could go search for it. But yeah, we did Odos, we did KyberSwap, we did Balancer. Look, it's right there. That's so great. Before you had to add it as a custom token and there was that scary warning. But now we've made Give more accessible. So major praise to William for all the work that he did on that. Um, yeah, also Givebacks recirculation has been going pretty smooth. You know, like as Ashley mentioned in her praise, it's like one is done and then the next one comes out. So it's like basically a well-oiled machine and we're not behind on any Givebacks round, which is pretty exciting. Um, we, we set up our CMC self-reporting dashboard so we could update anything like that's weird and fishy around the Give listing on CoinMarketCap. Um, and Polygon ZK EVM, even though there's like a big dance of like developer resources, Polygon ZK EVM is getting built so fast. Like really got to put major your praise to Muhammad there who's been kind of like leading the charge on this one but it's just like way faster than I could ever imagine he's like we deployed all the contracts and now we're ready for testing and why don't you stake and lock and Polygon ZK even is coming really soon so basically this like you know in the next few weeks you're going to be able to stake and lock your give for your power on Polygon ZK EVM and you'll be able to get give backs um, on ZK EVM when you donate on ZK EVM cool stuff what could have gone better? Um, we didn't really consider uh, give power in like building QAC V1. So now that it's kind of like coming up, how we want to be leading into GURS, there's like some like, oh no, but how are we going to manage that in the back end? It's all separate. So 
Yeah. Also, the market took a dive. You know, it's not really anything that we did wrong, but it could have gone better. Um, and also, we found out that our Fox Give LP that we moved from Gnosis to Mainnet is like on Uniswap, and like Uniswap is like you know racist against small market cap tokens basically so um it's not being routed so we're gonna have to move it so you know that could have gone better too but so it goes the cookie crumbles and we keep moving forward um the dappening continues so the vote for give back v2 um has passed so well basically the vote was to try it out so we're gonna try it out um we're gonna try out give v2 um so coming pretty pretty soon i think the round that starts september 3rd was going to be like the first round that we're doing half of the give backs pool is going to get distributed normally and the other half is going to be, is going to be, sorry, I thought that was a racy, racy comment. Um, the other half of the give backs pool is going to be going to basically winners of a raffle. Um, so it's pretty exciting. Aubrey's going to be doing a ton of awesome work, setting up all the marketing for that. So really like stay tuned, keep, keep an eye on your, um, on the Twitter and on your emails. Cause we're going to be like putting out some announcements and, uh, I think it's going to be really fun and I'm stoked about it. Um, also, as I mentioned, Polygon ZV, ZK EVM launch is coming soon. We're going to be putting out a give essentials to talk a little bit more about this narrative around ahead of the GERD and the marketing campaign we're doing. And we're going to be doing some more optimization of give liquidity, you know, moving that Fox LP around and just a little bit of more moving things around so that they're best positioned for give. Um, yeah, that's all for the Give Economy Working Group. So I believe I'm passing it back to you, Mitch, in the DAOPS Working Group. All right. Well, we got a couple more. So I'm going to burn through this so that I leave time for Kieran and Jake. Um, some stuff that happened, as Griff mentioned, we're back to distributing give for praise. So Shane took care of round 42 and the rewards from those, I believe all the way back from March this year. Uh, those went out to your give stream. So if you got praise back in March, uh, go ahead and check that out. You should have some give. Uh, DevCon planning is happening. Uh, reach out to Heather and Algene. I think there's a Telegram group somewhere. So, I mean, reach out to them if you want to get in the know and please do it quickly. Uh, so many snapshot votes. I mean, I think one's ended, but there's two up there right now. And I think Lauren covered them in there. So, I mean, really, again, Lauren said it, but get in there, vote in the snapshot. Uh, if you want to get voting power, make sure that you stake your give either on Gnosis or Optimism. If you want to get more give power, it's really, really the way to go. To get more voting power is to uh, lock your give for a couple rounds, maybe a full year, and then you actually get more voting power in snapshots. So make sure you do that. Um, don't be like me and forget to lock your tokens again. Now I have like no voting power, but anyway, I'll be okay. Um, so yeah, get in there for that. What else we got on Dow Ops? There is... A call that happens. We have a governance call that happens uh, Monday, 9 a.m. Mexico, uh, every two weeks. And so I think we just had one this Monday. So the next one will be on the 2nd of September. Oh, dang, we're already in September. So yeah, uh, those are open for the community to join. We're going to be talking about governance. Uh, Biweekly syncs uh, for the Dow Ops Working Group happen... Uh, every two weeks, obviously, but they happen uh, at 8 a.m. Mexico time. And we had one last week on the 15th. So next one will be on the 29th for the Dow Ops Working Group. Uh, what happened last month? We are have been, well, Heather, Nima, and Nicola have been delivering feedback to leaders from our leadership review process. So they've been having one-on-one -on -one calls and delivering uh, pretty outstanding reports, I would say, um, to all the different leaders in Giveth. Uh, round 42 praise has been sent. Round 43 is almost done. I think we're just waiting on one special quantifier to finish up her uh, quantifications. Uh, so that is for April, May, and June. Uh, so once that's done, we're going to do the final calcs and distribution. And then uh, I think Shane will be opening up round 44, which is for uh, July after that. Uh, Nico and co are working on improving the self-review form, maybe some better quantitative questions that'll help us um, figure out, you know, overall what's the Dow, Dow health is like. Um, so those are gonna be some very cool changes. 
Uh, also, Christina helped out with Nico on designing some new letterheads for our legal docs uh, that we sent externally. So those are nice and looking good. What could have gone better? Uh, lots of follow-up still needed on the leadership review. It's turned into a gargantuan task, but I know Nicola and Heather are working through it. Uh, we couldn't offer much subsidies for the Giveth crew to attend DevCon. Again, as Lauren was mentioning, market, poo-poo, no bueno. Uh, yeah. So contributor payouts. Uh, this was also difficult for us because ETH tanked severely, like 40%. Like around the time when we were going to be starting to pay people, so um, that was a bit tricky. What we got coming up next? Um, well, we were talking about the Gov call last week to changing our snapshot to use shutterized voting. So this would mean that you wouldn't be able to see how people voted or the current results of the vote. Uh, until the vote is ended. So you'd kind of like have to vote based on what you actually think and not be influenced by the votes that have already happened. So we're going to be testing that out and maybe trying out a, a snapshot vote to get that ratified. And we're wrapping up the leadership process, as I mentioned, and we're going to be opening a quantification for round 44. Uh, that's going to be for July. And look at that pick. Look at that. April, May, June, over 1,000 praise issued. I mean, even while rewards weren't going out, praise was still going strong. I mean, look at this, like over 1,000. That's just nuts. Um, so, yeah, keep it going. Um, and, yeah, I'll pass it on to Jake. Is Jake here for fundraising? Yeah, I'm here. The praise king yeah. is here. What have we been doing over in fundraising working group? Uh, so we just had some pretty interesting, uh, intriguing conversations this week. Is Giveth a KOL? You're damn right, Giveth is a KOL. So we want to get out and promote um, some projects through our brand. So what we're looking for call to action from the Galaxy is if you have any marketing agencies um, that you're close with that do KOLs, we want to propose to them um, giveth. And, and in return, all we want is uh, some nice little charitable donations to our matching pool to continue doing what we're doing over in the QF group. So it's a win-win. Uh, if you do have any of those marketing agencies, please make sure to reach out to Kieran or myself. Uh, thank you in advance. Um, other calls to actions right now, Metapool, their voting is, is going through. Uh, August 30th, we have a couple more shills going on there. Uh, again, uh, the purpose of that grant would be to add to the matching pool and become a sponsor for one of our future QF rounds. Uh, the last one's just to be on the lookout that um, Griff's already kind of mentioned about previously is Retro Funding 5 and Retro Funding 6. We got Devouch and Pairwise putting in their application applications this week and giveth will will definitely be pushing hard for governance round uh as alpha griff mentioned probably in two weeks what's happened since the end of july um base integration was completed and we got rewarded for that we saw a little bit of a half eth at today's market is about 1300 but we'll probably hold on to that and, and hopefully we'll see a spike before we sell that um we entered four gitcoin rounds this time which is is pretty big let's see if it pays off um as nicely as as gitcoin 20 did for us uh as mentioned before as well stellar integration is almost a staging why that matters with fundraising uh that was more of just an integration grant and we'd love to do probably a future qf round with stellar uh, but in order to get there, we need to have some some live staging so we can try to go after some matching pool of funds uh, from Stellar in a future grant round. Um, re currently, right now, we're at four sponsors for Give a Palooza. We want to keep pumping that up, get that matching pool as high as we can for that kickoff uh, in the beginning of September. And Karen will go much more into that. Uh, so far, in the last couple of weeks, we've submitted Litecoin, BNB, and, and Scroll will go in in the next couple hours. So uh, pretty excited about the, the grant applications that we're working on right now. And then QAC uh, doesn't get too much announcement in, in the Giveth Galaxy, uh, but applications uh, are out. 
uh, and we're making progress on that. Um, yeah, what well, we could have done better for sure. We missed out on the climate round for Gitcoin grants. Not so much 100% our fault as there was some bugs over in the application portal for Gitcoin. And this was like the only round that decided not to push their deadline. And we just missed out. And I think with our connections with uh, CCN, uh, we would have fared pretty well maybe in that round. So that's a bummer. Um, I'm going to jump on on Griff here for a moment. He has mentioned this in, in other calls. But yeah, he uh, self-proclaimed didn't bring his A game at Futurist, uh, which at these IRL events, we always see really nice stuff come out of it, usually traditionally for fundraising on any of our giveth projects. So that could have gone a little bit better. Uh, we have some opportunities this fall, hopefully turn that around. Um, and then of course, we'd love to have our matching pool every time as high as possible. So securing more QF sponsors will always probably be a what could have gone better, uh, even if we secure a quarter million. Um, so that's worth uh, mentioning there. What's coming up in the next month um, before we speak again? Well, of course, we want to continue pumping up the chains. We're at 10, but infinity and beyond. So we're working on Tezos, Starknet, full, uh, Fuel, Scroll, Tron, Polkadot, ICP, uh, and more. Um, obviously, you're in the Giveth galaxy. If there's a chain you want to see uh, on Giveth and uh, you think it's in invaluable, make sure to reach out to me. Let me know and we'll start focusing on it. Uh, we also have a, a couple groups you can jump in and, and share some knowledge with us. Uh, also, we'll find out with this Metapool 8 funding, if we meet the threshold, if we get some funding this time, uh, we'll also find out if the four rounds that we entered in for Gitcoin 21 uh, pay off. It'll pay off in some means, but we'll see if it's how big it can be. Uh, we're still finalizing our Kyoto integration uh, grant. Uh, we're waiting kind of, we're in limbo. Their token should launch in mid-September, but it was supposed to launch end of August or mid-August, so let's see how that goes. Uh, sooner the better for everybody. They're still pretty hyped about it, so it's not a matter of uh, each side not wanting to do it. So you should see Kyoto on Giveth here, hopefully sometime in the near future. Uh, and then, of course, we'll be kicking off the Give a Palooza QF round, but I'll save that for Kieran. Uh, and then, as mentioned before, the biggest one, the money maker, the keep the lights on at Giveth type of thing is, is optimism. And that governance round should be firing off in the next couple of weeks. That's it from my working group. Passing it on to QF. Awesome. Thank you, Jake. Uh, yeah, so QF time. I'll... I'll keep it fairly short so that we have enough time for Q&A, but what's going on in QF? We've got the Give a Palooza round starting September 3rd. Uh, giver nominations are open. They, we've got this D-form link here. Feel free to share that with anyone you know that has a giver. Um, they're able to nominate projects. If you don't have one, feel free to go grab one. Tell your parents to go get one or something. Um, just uh, make sure to get them in early because there, there might be a cap in the round. We're not... 100% sure on that yet. So the earlier, the better. But yeah, it's open. Get your nominations in. Um, if you're feeling meme -y, get some carnival memes going. Uh, this this round is going to have kind of a fun circus carnival theme. So uh, I think we can have some fun with that. Um, and yeah, there, I also didn't put this here, but we're going to have endowment projects eligible. Um, that's going to be a little different process, but essentially any of the 3,000 plus projects that we onboarded are able to kind of sign up for the round uh, via an email that comes from endowment. And we'll have hopefully some more info on that soon uh, once endowment is able to get that email out. Other than that, the Give Earth results, uh, this was on the last post, but just leaving it up here, there was some interesting discussion uh, going on in that post. And then the Give Our Round results are coming soon. Uh, this should be out this week, the forum post, and the payments will go through Thank Arb for that one. So not as much for us to do, um, but that round was pretty cool because we had a, a nice hundred fifty thousand Arb matching pool and some some interesting results to share there coming soon. Uh, so what happened in the last month? Um, kind of just touched on a little bit, but the Give Earth retrospective and learnings, um, which is a really great kind of like call and learned a lot and trying to implement some of those findings that we had from that um give arb happened i was pretty happy with the number of projects i think we had 79 eligible in the round um 
the Thank God collaboration in general, I thought went pretty well in terms of kind of co-marketing and then helping out with uh, X spaces and stuff like that. We implemented the new passport model based detection system, which essentially scores um, EVM based addresses with kind of like a stable score, like on chain history score, if you want to frame it that way. Um, that was really cool. Uh, definitely shout out to Lauren for kind of pushing that one along and getting it to the finish line. Um, so that one was, was really great. Uh, I've got some KPIs and analytics over here. Um, we had 150K ARB matching pool in the ARB rounds, 79 projects, um, 18.9K in donations. So a little lower than our past few rounds and pretty low compared to the size of the matching pool. So, you know, that, and it kind of timed perfectly or not perfectly with the uh, dip in the market. So I think there's a couple factors at play there. Um, but we definitely saw less donor turnout overall. Uh, so just something to like keep in mind and run some numbers on. And then numbers for give up Palooza, we're up to 17K matching right now, hoping to get that up in the next week or two before we launch. Um, that says June, but that is incorrect. That's September. Um, the goal, I would like to see at least six plus sponsors. Uh, I've got four right now. Um, and then I'm hoping that this round we can outdo donations in the give our brown 25k at least would be awesome um getting closer to like 30 40k again would be incredible so yeah we'll have more uh, info on that coming soon what could have gone better uh there's some donation data bugs that we're kind of working through right now uh related to the model issue or the model uh, scoring system um still working on some estimated matching adjustments we had a few projects complain about that in the give earth round so we're hoping to update that to better represent COCM, which is the new kind of QF algorithm that we're using to calculate matching funds. Um, and then kind of just like I mentioned, the give our donor turnout was a bit lower. Um, would have liked to see that a little bit higher. So that definitely could have gone better. Uh, moving on, what's coming up next? Uh, give a Palooza round, obviously. That's we're full speed ahead on that. Um, there's also a couple next steps with Thank Arb that aren't mentioned here, but that round will be closed out. Uh, ideally next week, end of next week, and they'll kind of run through the fund distribution process. Um, and as Jake mentioned, with this new kind of KOL angle that we're going for Giveth, trying to get in touch with marketing agencies um, with the twist that, you know, if people pay us to be a KOL, we'll use that to fund QF matching pools. So I think it's a pretty cool angle and I'm really hoping we get some traction on that and, you know, kind of find a new avenue to fund QF matching pools that is a little different than the traditional uh, route that we've been taking with the quadratic force. And then just uh, running some data on the new passport system, um, trying to get some data analysis, compare some scores, see kind of what percent of people are passing. Uh, you know, we, we have the backup uh, passport with stamps still going with a score of 15. So kind of comparing like how many people go the stamps route, how many people go with the model route, what those numbers look like, and then maybe making some further improvements there. Um, Future rounds, I think we're looking at Stellar if the integration's going well. Um, that could be the one we do in like early October after the Game of Palooza round. Uh, Kyoto is still on the table. Um, and then there's this idea that I just kind of wanted to float out here of like a give token round. So trying to run a QF round for contributors and people who kind of help with uh, all the infrastructure that goes into the give token and the give economy. Um, so that's just interesting idea that was floated a couple weeks ago and something to think about but uh definitely some exciting stuff in the future and yeah i think that's uh that's mostly it and we can move on to some q and a yeah so does anyone have any questions uh yeah as lauren says nominate some projects the d form is in the chat you got some givers nfts uh, but also, if anyone has any like questions about anything that was presented today, we still have a few minutes that we could uh, we could talk about some fun stuff. Mm, well, I got a I got a spicy one. Um, unless somebody doesn't. Okay, spicy one. Um, should we? Because we're doing. I want to put out this forum post and the last question I have is like, should super delegates on optimism be able to participate in uh, the verification of projects? That's like 
the last question mark I have before I can put out this epic forum post. Personally, I think that uh, well, as a as a delegate myself in optimism, I feel like uh, delegates are more likely to be cool with being hit up than badge holders and citizens of optimism. So, like, uh, I kind of like it personally. Mm -hmm. um, and also, I think they're also validated by, like, uh, the social reputation even more than badge holders because people could actually undelegate from them if they if they are uh, not behaving properly and they're kind of more in the limelight. Whereas badge holders, there's almost like a vibe that badge holders are secret and they don't want to be DM'd, you know? Yeah, I like the delegates thing, but the, the question I have is like, so are we going to, we're going to have to maintain a list? Because I'm assuming that like, we're not going to like set some crazy back end checking on the blockchain to be like, is this person still a delegate? Oh, now they are. Now they're not. Now they're added. Now they're removed. Like, I feel like we need to like mint their power. Right. Yeah, you're right. It is going to be a li like, yes, there are going to be some admin overhead if we make that decision. Yeah, I mean, I do think we need to do that admin overhead anyway for uh, devouch for retro PGF rounds. So I, I feel like it's. I don't think it's extra work if we follow the devouch game plan of like maintaining that list for retro PGF as well. Yeah, I don't think it does. I think it keeps it there. And Amin would be able, if Amin's still paying attention, he would be able to back me up on that one. I think Let's you're going to have to repeat it. I, I didn't <laughs> it's all right. So it's like, the question is, like, like if... Can you repeat the question? Yeah, it's okay. I can repeat it. It's all good. Um, so the question is, like, if, um, say... You're a, you're a badge holder and you make some vouches on devouch and then you get removed from the organization, like maybe your attestation that makes you eligible is revoked. The vouches that you made already, are, are they persistent or do they get removed? Uh, I think we decided to leave it, but we are capable of processing that and remove them. It will not be a big goal because we support revocation. Mm, okay, so we could like revoke it. Okay, cool. So it is possible. Yeah, I, I can double check. I can double check if you like and tell you for sure because I implemented that line time ago. Uh, but yeah, anything is possible. There you have it. I mean, says anything is possible. So. <laughs> Well, great. Yeah, I mean, I'm very excited for Devouch. Devouch has a lot going on, and decentralizing our verification system is pretty damn cool. It's been on the roadmap for a long time, and uh, the major praise to you, Mitch, and to you, Ashley, for trying to push it through uh, and make it a reality. So thank you all for coming to our town hall. It was really another, another banger, and I hope to see you at the next one. Thank you all. Yay, thank you. Oh yeah. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, take care.